Evercoat's Multi-Fix Epoxy Adhesive is designed to eliminate the guesswork from plastic repair. Multi-Fix is designed to go over a variety of plastics, such as fiberglass, sheet molded composite, thermoplastic polyolefin, polyurethane, reaction injection molding, polypropylene, and a variety of other automotive plastics. The following process explains a double-sided bumper repair. Application is easy. Begin by washing the bumper with soap and water. It's important to wash both the front and back side of the bumper for a double-sided repair. Dry the area thoroughly with a clean cloth. Compressed air can be used to accelerate the drying time. Now use panel prep number 881 to remove any remaining surface contaminants. Spray panel prep onto a clean lint-free rag to clean the repair area. Avoid spraying panel prep directly on the repair. This will eliminate the chance of any solvent possibly being absorbed. Again, clean both the front and back side of the repair. Allow to dry thoroughly. To speed up the repair process, bevel the front side of the damaged area with a rotary file on a die grinder. This will shorten the sanding time. Then begin sanding with 80 grit on a dual action sander to finish beveling the front edges and prepare the surface. To help support the bumper during the sanding process, use a wooden paint stick. After reaching the desired look and contour on the front, sand the back side of the bumper with 80 grit. When the damage goes to the edge of the bumper cover, create a soft taper on the edge to allow room for the adhesive material. To ensure maximum repair strength on an edge or in a high stress area, drill both sides with a 1 8 inch drill bit. This process called pinning creates a rivet effect with multi-fix on both sides of the repair. If there is any loose plastic remaining after the drilling, simply sand the area with 80 grit to remove the loose material. After the sanding is completed, re-clean both sides with panel prep. This will remove any mold release that may have come to the surface during the sanding process. Apply panel prep to a clean lint-free rag and clean both the front and back side of the repair. Allow five to 10 minutes for flash time. While not always necessary, fiber reinforced tape can be used to reinforce the repair and provide added strength. This is another option when the damage goes to the edge of a bumper. For this procedure, we will reinforce the edge of the bumper. Now prepare a multi-purpose repair panel to protect and reinforce the repair. For most smaller repairs, this would be the only means of reinforcement necessary. Now equalize the cartridge to prepare it for use. Insert the cartridge into the professional grade caulking gun. Remove the protective cap. Remove the plug. Dispense a small amount of product to ensure even flow of both materials. Attach the Maxim Static Mixing Tip number 817 and dispense a bead of material equal to the length of the static mixing tip. Apply a small amount of material to the back side of the bumper. Be sure to use firm pressure to wet the area and work some material through to the front side of the bumper. Slightly build up the material and place the fiber reinforced tape on the back side edge of the bumper. Gently work the fiber reinforced tape into the material from the back side. Then add more material and fold the tape over to the front side. Next, apply the pre-cut multi-purpose repair panel and seal the edges to envelope the repair material. Gently work the material towards the center of the repair. This will work the material through the holes and up through damaged area. To help stabilize the repair for this particular procedure, we'll use two plastic spreaders and a clamp to hold the bumper straight while the material cures. Allow five to seven minutes for the material to set, then gently remove the spreaders. Trim as necessary. Here you can see the repair material where it worked through to the front to create the rivet effect. 
sand to remove the excess material, and re-clean with panel prep. Allow five to 10 minutes for flash time. Apply Multifix to the front side of the bumper. Again, use firm pressure to wet the area. Apply more material as needed and build up slightly above the plane of repair. This will help to eliminate low spots and ensure that the repair is done in one application. After reaching the desired amount of build, use the spreader to create a feather edge before the material sets. This will make sanding the repair easier. Allow 15 to 20 minutes, then sand and feather edge with 180 grit to the desired contour. If a finishing material is required, Maxim Multi-Fix Plastic Repair can be reapplied as a skim coat and then re-sanded with 180 grit. Allow 30 minutes and apply primer surfacer and top coat to your paint manufacturer's recommendations. For more information on Evercoat's Maxim Multi-Fix Plastic Repair Number 898 or other Evercoat products, contact your local Evercoat distributor or go to evercoat.com for more information.